This video is brought to you by Roll for Combat and The Fall of Plaguestone, an official Paizo actual play podcast. Join Prue, Cade, Brixley, and Celeste as they band together to save the village of Plaguestone from utter destruction. Listen now to The Fall of Plaguestone at RollForCombat.com. <laughs> Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you. In today's question is can I start casting a spell on one turn and finish casting it on the next turn? And the rules for that, uh, casting a spell with multiple actions over two turns, is the same as any multiple action activity in the game, not just spells. And the answer is no, you, you can't do that. The, uh, the rules specifically say that when you do a multiple action activity, like casting a spell, then you bundle all of those actions together and you spend them all at once. And any activity that you begin on a turn must be finished on that same turn turn. So that can lead to questions about what about uh, spells that have really long casting times. What if the casting time is listed in terms of minutes or hours instead of actions? Well, those spells almost certainly have the exploration trait assigned to them, and anything with the exploration trait and spells with the exploration trait are intended to be cast and used outside of, of combat, outside of encounter mode. Um, however, there is a notation for these spells that say that they usually are cast outside of encounter mode while you're in exploration mode, but each GM can make a, uh, a determination for themselves if they wish to allow those long spells to be cast while in encounter mode. Uh, there's no real guidance uh, given about uh, how distractions might affect you, how suffering damage might affect you. Uh, check out my video on interrupting spells for, for specific ways that address uh, interrupting the, the casting of a spell, but they're, they're few and far between. Another related question that popped up was what about using trick magic item to cast a three action spell? So say you've got a scroll that has a three action spell in it, like a, like a summon spell. Can you use trick magic item to cast that spell? So when you use trick magic item, that costs you one action right there. And then you can, and then if you succeed on that, you can activate a magic item as if you were normally able to use it. So if you spend one action to, to activate trick magic item, that only leaves you two actions left in the turn to activate whatever spell is on that scroll. So you would not be able to activate a, a, a scroll or other magic item that has three uh, actions required to cast it. Nor would you be able to say, I'm going to trick magic item with my last action on one turn and then activate the scroll with all three of my actions on the following turn because the success text for trick magic item specifically calls out that is for the duration of the current turn. So you would not be able to cross over to the next round and, and finish casting from that scroll. And the last question that came up that's related to this topic of, of actions across turns and rounds is what about reloading uh, reloading crossbows? So a heavy crossbow has a reload rating of two. The reload rating for a ranged weapon shows you how many interact actions are required to reload the weapon. And what's interesting is there is no activity called reload. Instead, the reload rating is how many individual interact actions must be spent in order to reload that weapon. So it's a little bit different here, and the text specifically calls out when you look up the rules for reload, that the GM can absolutely make the call as to whether or not all of those actions need to be spent in one turn, or if the character can do one interact action on one turn and then another interact action on the next turn to finish reloading their weapon. So it's an interesting exception made there for, for reloading. So that's, that's it for today's video. Uh, can you uh, start an action on one turn and finish on the next turn, whether it's a spell or anything else? No, the rules specifically say that you bundle all your actions together, you spend them all at once, and if something was to, to disrupt that action, then you lose all of those actions, not just the first one or, or two. 
If you have any suggestions for future rule reminders, please let me know what those are in the comments. As always, I'll leave links to relevant other conversations in the discussion area of this video. And as always, I want to make sure I take a moment to thank everybody out there who supports me, whether it's through subscribing to the Patreon, subscribing to this channel, clicking the like button, leaving comments, leaving your suggestions for future rule reminders, sharing the videos with your friends and fellow players. I really appreciate everything this awesome community does to support me. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and happy gaming.